So make sure, good day everybody, make sure y'all like and share uh, the video. I want to turn to Daniel 7 verse 25. It says, and he shall, he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time ladies and gentlemen it seems as if andrew Honus is on that same path of changing whatever he chooses to change is that fits anything to his advantage this is what we're actually dealing with the jamaica lawless party Right? But before before we go there, before we really go deep dive into this, we have a message uh from the brother here that I think is super important for us to hear. Um what's his name again? Uh Ryan Mark recently came out with a vision and a prophecy and he has a message. Let's hear it much blessings it's the beginning of a brand new month it's october 1st and normally on the first of each month you know i mean it's good to declare blessings and all these good stuff but really and truly there's a time and a season for everything and i still believe that the lord is saying that jamaica we need to repent as a people we need to repent as a nation now on september 13th i put out a video that um, basically described a dream that i got from god and I shared it with the nation. Some people take heed, some people are laughing just like in the days of Noah. But can I tell you, the reactions of the people really prove that Jamaica really needs a change because the hearts of the people have gone wax cold. Now, some people say, why are you on Jamaica, on Jamaica? Well, this is the land of my birth. Mm -hmm. And I still live here and I care about my country. So if the Lord gives me a message, I'm sure it's going to be for my country first before it is for any other nation, because this is where I live. This is where I reside. Right. And this is where I um, carry out my calling on a daily basis. Now, years ago, and I'm talking about many years ago, there was a city that was dubbed as the wickedest city on earth. It was called Port Royal. Mm -hmm. And where was Port Royal located? Mm -hmm. Or where is Port Royal? Or where is Port Royal located? I should say in Jamaica. Now, the wickedest city on earth um, experienced an earthquake. Now, two thirds of that city is underwater. Don't think it's by chance that the wickedest city, that the, the, well, the place that was dubbed the wickedest city on earth is underwater. You know why? Because the Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Jamaica is ripe. Jamaica is ripe for judgment because we can see it all around. If you have eyes and ears, you can see it. And I do not know how a message, a message of repentance to a nation can cause people to curse you out. Talk to any sense. Repentance is to confess our sins to God and turn away from them. Me go back to them after we have told God that we are sorry for our wicked ways. Now, how can a message of repentance allow people to curse you out? Because Embarrassing. As a nation and as a people, right? And only God can help us. And God gave me a warning, I gave the warning, and I stand by those words that the Lord gave to me. And out of love and out of obedience, I'm here again to sound the alarm. Jamaica, we need to repent. We need to repent. Something is coming and it's not going to be nice. Mm. We need to turn to the Lord, turn to the Lord and turn from our wicked ways. Some people say to me, well, some people said to me in the last video, we don't need the prime minister. Eh, we need him more than you think, you know. We need him more than you think because I can get up and say, hey, Jamaica, we need a day of fasting and prayer. But if the prime minister sanctioned it, it has to be done. It's going to be done. Just like when God sent Jonah to warn Nineveh, when word got to the king, he was the one who sent out the word and said, hey, no eating, not even animals, no eating for the next few days. Let us wrap ourselves in sackcloth and ashes and pray. And God lift the judgment from them. So the prime minister of this country does play a part. Big facts. Whether you like it or not. But if he does not take heed to the word, then we just have to pray and ask God to have mercy upon us as a nation. Mm -hmm. Jamaica, we're not doing well. And I'm not letting up. I'm, I want to make sure that I be the mouthpiece that God has called me to be. We need to turn from our wicked ways. And furthermore than the judgment that might be coming to Jamaica, listen to me, there's no repentance in the grave. 
There's no repentance in the grave. Jesus Christ is the only way. The word of God says that he's the way, the truth, and the life, right? So outside of what may be coming here, we need to live a life that is pleasing to God and we can only do that through Jesus Christ. Because many will not be here to see his return. We will die and leave before, but how will you die and leave? Will you die in him or will you die outside of him? And if I die outside of him, there's no repentance in the grave. So today is the day that we need to make the change. Today is the day that we need to call upon our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jamaica, take heed. Who has an ear, let him hear the word of God. Much blessings. I totally agree. Shout out to me, Chicago, VMAC, Velma. Jamaica Lawless Party. Yep. Wickedness, wickedness, the wickedest thing on earth, man. But we're not gonna we're not going there yet. We have one more message that is very important. Um, before we get into the to the to the to the meat and potatoes to the main course, this is just the appetizer. Very important message that needs to be echoed. I uh, came across this video on Mr. Peter Chambers' page. It's labeled to be two years ago. Um, let's listen to what this lady has to say, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go. Hello, everyone. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Um, I wanted to share a message with you that I received this morning, August 2nd, 2022. Um, a message was from the Most High after my prayer in, re in regards to Pastor Peter Chambers. Um, I had to write the message down because I didn't want to forget anything. So if you see me gazing down, I'm just reading my notes, the message. And this is how it begins. In the early hours on the 2nd of August, 2022, after my prayer, the Most High spoke into my spirit regarding Pastor Peter Chambers. He said, my son Peter Chambers will be handpicked to pray for the island, the nation of Jamaica. What is to come upon this land will be a disaster. The land will be in great turmoil. His enemies will beg him to pray to his God for mercy and peace, for drastic calamity has fallen upon them. I then spoke to the Almighty God and I said, Heavenly Father, if this message is really from you, please give me a confirmation through scripture to back up this message that you have given me before I deliver it to Pastor Peter Chambers. I then paused and as I stood there, I randomly opened up my Bible to the book of Jeremiah chapter 37. To my amazement, this is the chapter where Jeremiah was sent to prison, just like Pastor Chambers was, arrested and imprisoned. Jeremiah 30, 37 verse three stood out before my eyes where King Zedekiah sent two men, Zephaniah the priest and Jehuchal, to seek and find the prophet Jeremiah. And they said to him, saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now them saying that, I believe the men of today um, who will seek pastor chambers will be some type of politicians from the government and other men from high positions. The people of Jamaica will say, the citizens of Jamaica will say, isn't this the pastor, Peter Chambers, who they once imprisoned? Now, this is going to be a shock to the nation and to the people who knew the incident when he was arrested and imprisoned. It will be on the media, of course, on all social media. It will be the talk. The spirit of pride will melt away from his enemies because the spirit of fear has overtaken them. Now, um, that was the end of the message. And I, I had to get a confirmation before I delivered a message. That's what I normally do. And to my amazement, like I said before, when I opened it up, I opened to Jeremiah 37, a prophet in the old days that was imprisoned and arrested for no apparent reason, just because he delivered the truth and nothing but the truth. Now, the calamities and the disaster that I believe will be coming to Jamaica, unfortunately, I hate to say this, and it won't be just Jamaica, it will be all over the world, will be the tsunamis and most probably um earthquakes oh, the the door around here because now, people, I need to have matter of fact don't move that hand no more now clap don't mind you mean to tell me diddy was touching on your leg while you were sitting right here on this couch trying to but i seen it before diddy, get the hell out of the studio it's day i should subscribe to the channel shout out to the new sub salute 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 we <laughs> just jamaica will be all over the world will be the tsunamis and most probably um earthquakes now, the people, we all need to take heed. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I plead with you to get your lives straight. Get saved. Be baptized. Find a church. 
it pays to serve the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Time is basically running out. And I see all the churches being fooled at this time, unfortunately, it has to take a disaster. Of course, Pastor um, Chambers' church, his ministry, people are going to actually um, seek him and to find his church, to fill his church, to hear the message, the real messages. And I believe Father is going to pick other true men of God, true men and women of God around the world to represent their nation. They are going to be handpicked just like Pastor Chambers is going to be handpicked. And when this happens, this is going to shock the people. Because sometimes Father has to use disasters to basically humble us, to break us, especially when he loves us. And I pray that all of us, including myself, will take heed of this message. Thank you for listening. God bless. Take care. Shalom. All right, so I think those messages speak for themselves. Just a small commentary on the first video, uh, what Mark said, it, it amazes me how a message of repentance gets such angry responses in the comment section. I mean, I've seen it in mine. You know, they 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 curse Peter Peter Chambers. They curse Sister Carrie Ann. They curse any person that comes and speaks about this vision. But I want y'all to pay attention and look at what is going on in the United States of America. In some of the states, you see what that storm is doing. Do y'all see the images? And that was also prophesied as well. What is going on over there? And there is more to come. Right, it's gonna be all around the world. So, um, when 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 people are warning you about Jamaica, I don't understand why y'all take offense. Um, don't you see what is going on with our people and their lack of godliness? There was a story recently of a person preaching in the JUTC bus, and he was kicked off the bus. Because the people didn't want to hear anybody preach it. They were aggravated because this man was preaching the word of God. How you doing, Miss Genesis? So, we are living in a dark spiritual time in Jamaica, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very dark spiritual time. And what's, 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 what's unfortunate is that that man was kicked off the bus in an area. And he was unalived. And he was burnt. He was tied up and burnt. This is where the heart of Jamaicans are. That is a microcosm of the macrocosm. We have young men in church going carried by their mother and refusing to give up their guard ring for God because they believe that their guard ring holds some more power than the creator of the universe. This is where we're at, idol worshiping. We have a government that allegedly, or according to the prophet, thus say the Lord, I won't say allegedly, according to the prophet Peter Chambers, that they have an Obia team. So not only are they the Jamaica Lawless Party, but they're also the Jamaica Obia Party or Voodoo Party, according to the prophet thus say the lord right not my word so we're in very very dark times ladies and gentlemen tell me what y'all think in the comment section please like and share the video share the video with 10 people all right all right